From 25 pounds of wet clay to a salt glazed masterpiece. Dallas artist Doug Yoakum has combined 35 years of experience in life drawing and pottery to create a unique art form. He takes us into his studio to show how his nude reliefs come to life. I find that if I have a 25 pound ball of clay, that it's easier for me to center it in small parts. So I'm going to start here at the top, and I'm going to center this top part of the clay by pushing on the clay with my right hand and bracing it with my left hand and centering the top part of the clay. And then I'm going to start a little bit lower, and I'm going to push on the clay and pull on the clay and center that part of the clay. This yeah, Japanese a, top centering you know, technique helps Doug gain quick front. control over the clay. He uses the Igota stick in place of his hands to separate it. Now with this size clay I find that I need to compress the clay on the outside as I'm working. So I'm going to collar the clay. This is very similar to what I did when I was centering. But this helps reinforce the clay See a groove there. You need to wet it. It's providing a lot of balance, a lot of security. The clay comes right up with me. Three pulls is all it takes to turn the 25 pound mass into a 16 inch high cylinder. To stabilize the clay, he heats it while at the same time pushing it into its final form from the inside. And I'm caught singing hey. On this clay. Hey, 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 hey. Take my spirit line nice now, baby. In its final form, the vase is now ready to be designed. Doug uses his own new charcoal drawings as inspiration. With rubber-tipped painting brushes, he etches the form into the still damp clay. I've drawn in the design. I find that since I have studied the model for as long as I have, it helps me then to transpose it as quickly as I can onto the clay. I'm not just using a photograph or uh, some uh, magazine picture or something else. And uh, as an artist, this then also verifies that everything I do is an original expression. Now, two-dimensional sketches become reliefs. With his fingertips, Doug presses the clay from both sides to develop the form. And then, as you can see, if I were to just bulge it from the inside, it would uh, not have the sharp clarity of form that I want to have and that I showed you earlier. Take the stiffer tool, the stiffer rubber tool. After he has pushed them out, Doug goes back to the relief with his rubber paintbrush, redefining the lines and making his figures come to life. I won't be as definitive as I was when I outlined that. that is to come back inside and it's a, it's a matter of pushing and pulling. I'm going to push with my tool on the outside and pull with my hand on the inside. And I'm going to redefine those lines once again. This time pushing out, pushing in. From here, the figures await a fiery rebirth. They will first spend 12 hours hardening in 1900 degrees Fahrenheit then 20 hours in a salt glaze kiln. Only after that, 
Will they be the nude art forms you see here?